Okay guys, so for the next part of this video, uh, we're going to be actually talking about the blow-off valves uh, and properly setting one up. Uh, here we have a Turbo Smart Race Port, uh, which is what we recommend. We use their products for everything. Um, they're very well made um, and they work extremely well, reliable. Um, we haven't had issues with needing to clean them or anything like that. Um, so stock, you can see it comes with this big blue spring. Um, it's a very stiff spring. For all N54 applications, we recommend uh, an eight pound spring. If you have a, a tile valve, um, they also make an eight pound spring. It's the black spring. Um, for the these, it is uh, the orange springs. You can see it's orange. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to get the right spring in it. This is gonna have the blow-off valve open at idle, which is what you want. Next, reference line. The stock reference line is eighth of an inch. That's how much vacuum you're gonna get um, pulling on the valve. When you lift to open it, it's gonna react very slowly because you have a very small amount of vacuum coming through the line. They recommend quarter inch line. Uh, that's what you need to use. You need to tap uh, some sort of port in your manifold uh, and run a quarter inch line to the blow off valve. It cannot be teed off of anything. It needs a dedicated line that is not shared. Um, this will give you the fastest reacting valve which is important on these motors because when you upgrade your turbos to billet wheels, something like this, they move a lot of air down low. Um, and what happens is you're building up quite a bit of air, even at very low throttle inputs, uh, just, you know, cruising around. And when you lift, um, each time you lift, if you don't have a very fast reacting or properly set up blow off valve system, uh, you're going to get a small amount of surge every time and you're gonna end up with a thrust that looks like this and what that's going to do is it's going to allow the wheel to move in and out the oil seals are going to move past their grooves and you're going to get oil leaking past both sides and you're going to get smoke and you're going to get oil leaks um you know that's not the only way that a turbo can fail but it's very common and it's almost always caused by an improperly set up blow off valve system so doing quarter inch line proper spring um you actually should not have any problems with this type of premature thrust wear i guess for vtt blow off valve 101 turbocharger thrust 101 thanks